Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Pokemon Scale World Canto Set 1. As you can see here, these look pretty darn cute. Of course, we got Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur looking great. And don't worry, I'll give you a good look of them individually. And I have to say, for such small figures, around an inch tall, they're pretty well detailed. The colors are beautiful. They did a really amazing job here with them. So let's keep going. Box number two here, as you can see, is Charmeleon and Pikachu, which look great together. Charmeleon, the details on him look nice. The fire, of course, on the tail looks great. And Pikachu just looks pretty darn cute. Um, and these figures don't have articulation or anything like that, you know, but the attention to detail on them is just great. They did such an amazing job here with these two. Box number three, of course, is Wartolo and Eevee, and they look great. I gotta say, Wartolo looks awesome with the ears, the tail, the shell looks really well done. Man, he is looking so darn good. And Eevee is pretty cute. I mean, Eevee is the smallest of the figure, and just the little detailing that they did on it, actually making some of the parts look like real fur. They did an amazing job there. Box number four. As you can see, we're getting Ivysaur and Mew. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting Ivysaur and Mew to come together, but man, Ivysaur looks amazing with the flower on him, all the little details that he has with the patterns. Of course, you can see that that bulb is obviously open, it has the flower on it, the colors are beautiful, and Mew looks great. He's really small, tiny, but cute, and he has the correct color, even has the blue eyes, which is pretty awesome so that is box number four Now for box number 5 of course is Mewtwo, the original final, well not the original final Pokemon, the one you can legally get in the game, you know, without winning a tournament or a contest or hacking to get Mew. He looks awesome. I mean, he is the tallest of the figure around 4.5 inches tall and he's looking great. Remember that he does not have articulation. Now, the thing that I don't like is that in the actual box they show you that he's gray and when you get it, he's actually a pinkish color here as you can see. But he looks nice, you only have to attach the tail, and he is big, and I think he's gonna look great next to some figures. Of course, you cannot compare him to the SH Figure Arts one. Um, that one is just so awesome. Honestly, I, I want to get one myself, uh, that would be so great. But you can display him with a few figures. Maybe if you don't care that much about scale, you can pull it off with some of the Figmas. 
Okay, the final box is of course Trainer Red. Looking nice. Um, he is a little bit taller than the other Pokemon, but way shorter than Mewtwo. And as you can see here, he has this pose, which he looks nice. I wish he did have a Pokeball on hand. There is actually another version of him that has the Pokeball. But I gotta say, the detailing on the hair, the backpack, the face, the hat looks great. For such small figure, they did an awesome job here. So let's get to some final thoughts here. I think this is a great set. Honestly, it's the classic set. You get pretty much the Pokemon that you want. You get the three original starters. You get Green and Red, of course, which is good. And it's the way it should be, honestly, getting those three. You also get their mid-stage evolutions, which is great. And they look awesome together. I think this is just cool, just having all six of them together like this. There's a Blastoise, there's a Venusaur, and there's a Charizard, but those are sold individually. And from what I've seen, they're pretty pricey as well. You also get, of course, you get your Legendary, you get Mew, which is great. Like I said, the other ones, like if you want to get Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard, I think they're, so, they're around $20 each. This set. This whole set was only 25 It wasn't that expensive. And I love that you can have, you know, red holding Mew like this. This is really awesome because Mew is my favorite Pokemon of the original generation along with Charizard, of course. <laughs> and you have to have the stare down between Mewtwo and Red. Who does not have memories of going into the Cerulean Cave and seeing that guy there waiting for you. Now back then obviously the graphics weren't that great but <laughs> it's still so cool, it's a little nostalgic. And of course all done together it, it's just like I said it's a great set. It's a great little set. It's not that like, expensive like it's a 25 US dollars. You get mostly the Pokemon that you want. They sell other sets that come with more Pokemon, some of them come with different poses and all that. Will I be getting more of them? Maybe. Um, right now the one that I really want is the Johto set one. And I'm hoping maybe at some point getting, I don't know, getting like a freaking Tyranitar would be pretty awesome and getting Charizard and Blastoise as well will be great but we'll have to wait and see so if you're on the fence of getting this set I suggest you do you know they're small figures so they might not scale properly with the other figures that you have but they still look good they're cheap you get quite a good amount of them and it's just fun and I'll be displaying this on the top of my Mac Studio of course next, next to the badass Doom Slayer, which I love. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.